Hey everybody, it's Decaf back with a, another tool tutorial. Uh, and this time I'm going to be talking about the arc tool right here, which is just below your uh, circle tool. So if you've been following uh, these tutorials, you'll notice that I'm just going in a row here. Uh, nice simple order. Um, and as you go down here, you gradually get more complex uh, tools. So the three point slash tangent end arc, basically all you're doing is creating an arc using two endpoints. So I'll click down here to find a point there, click another point, and automatically what it tries to do is create a circle with the remaining arc here. So this is just circular arcs only. Um, you can't do any really funky curves or anything like that with this. Uh, but the use of this one here is I can define where my center goes you, just by going back and forth here. Uh, so if you really need, uh, wanted to get a sort of a bulbulous shape uh, without too much trouble, you could click two lines really close to each other and then go way out and get kind of a funky shape there. You could maybe make a microphone head using something like this. So we have that right there. Uh, the next tool, uh, just like the circle up here, we basically go in the exact same order. Uh, next we have the concentric uh, arcs here. And this is kind of an interesting tool. Uh, so we'll select a circle or an arc, basically anything with a radius uh, defined by Pro Engineer. And we click on that, and you see us starting to define some kind of a dotted uh, circle here. Uh, what that is, is it's, as you move your mouse out, it's defining a radius from the center point here in the middle, or the radius of this arc that I have already made. So as I'm going out, uh, you can see right by my mouse, I have a little uh, dot representing where I'd like to click. So I'm just going to click a random point over here. And at that point, I can now move along the arc and define the length of my arcs. Uh, so uh, what this is really useful for is uh, going and giving a very, very, very uh, careful arc length, uh, given a center point from another circle. Um, so we can have some fun with this and make some pretty crazy uh, looks. Uh, and you'll notice right here there's kind of a lot of screen uh, residue, if you will, from all the different concentric arcs. And we can get rid of that just by switching to the mouse tool. And we'll be left with kind of the funky looking shapes here. So if you're creating something like an amphitheater or something like that, you might consider this uh, for making your different levels going out. Uh, so the next tool we have here uh, is very, very similar, uh, except uh, in this case, instead of selecting a center from a uh, uh, already made curve, we're defining our center point. And now we drag out our radius circle, and we can go along and define our arc. So if you really need to absolutely pick your center point, you can't avoid doing that for certain applications. This is very, very useful uh, to use. And one of our last ones here, I'll need to clear the grid to use it. A little one left there. So this last arc in here, or second to last arc, uh, is just like the circle where we're making uh, tangents from straight lines. So we're just going to make a tangent arc going through all of them. So click there. I'll click along in here. And so you can see it created an arc there, or it's going to create an arc on the outside tangent to that point there. And then we can also make a point tangent to the other lines. So that's a pretty useful uh, tool for making uh, your chamfers and fillets without actually going and using the chamfer and fillet tool. Uh, and the last uh, tool that we have here is probably my favorite one out of the lot. Uh, just because it's so much fun to play around with. What this does is it creates a conic section for you. Uh, if you've been in enough math and physics classes or uh, astronomic classes for, for uh, astrophysics or something like that, you know that there's different types of orbits uh, in the shape of conic sections. Uh, and what this tool right here does is it creates a hyperbola. Uh, so we define two points and a line going through them geometrically. And then we can go and with my mouse define any point to make our conic section through. 
so the way uh, the conic section works is basically if you take any cone, well, I, actually I can describe this quite nicely. I'll use a revolve placement define and use my nice straight line tools. Create that. Okay. So what the conic does is if, if we're cutting at any one angle, so let's say we're going to cut along the top datum plane here. And we're going to make a nice straight cut through the entire uh, shape. Cut. Okay. Oops, let's make that a little bigger. Make it go through both sides and let's make this 500 nice and big. So the conic section right there, we cut the cone at an angle. So this shape right here is a hyperbola. So if you can recall from our sketcher a moment ago, we defined two points of our cone right here, the straight line through the bottom, and then we defined a point going up. So in real life what that does is it defines the angle that this cut is going up at or the placement of that cut. So that's uh, kind of a fun tool to use. So I hope this video was helpful. I hope you uh, have a lot of fun using the uh, tools shown and go and practice. Have a lot of fun with this.